guys, in this week's video, I'm going to be, or in this video, I'm doing more than one a week sometimes, but hey, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I built this. It's a Boss FS6 clone. So it's basically two foot switches with two toggle switches, a stereo jack, and it allows you greater control over some boss pedals that have an external foot switch input. So it's a pretty simple process, a couple of cables, a couple of components, it's pretty easy to knock out and it's very useful. So enjoy. First step is to drill the enclosure and decorate it, so I'll just jump right into that. Okay, now that I have the enclosure drilled, I'll go about putting some graphics on it. I'm going to run through this quickly. If you want to see a detailed overview of how I do this, then you can check out my other video where I put a decal onto my Brutalist pedal. I'll link that in the description. Okay, so now that I have the pedal decorated, we'll start putting together the components. It's a pretty simple circuit. It's just two toggle switches, two momentary DPDT, I think they are, foot switches, and a stereo jack. So I'll just put them into the enclosure and then wire them up. I'm following an Instructables article which I'll link in the description, which shows you exactly how to wire all this up. And it should be pretty simple. See how it goes.
So that's all there is to it. All you need to do is connect a stereo quarter inch jack cable between that and whatever effects unit you're going to use it with. It should be compatible with anything that is designed to work with a Boss FS6 foot switch. I built this one for my Boss RC30 loop pedal. But as I said, it should be compatible with anything designed to work with this. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and check back next week for another video of me doing something to do with pedals or audio.